starting. Yep. You're at a dinner party. Mm -hmm. You go into the restroom. Hold on. Who are you? Greg Fitzsimmons. Oh, hi. Welcome to Talk Your Way Out of It. Oh, okay. We do it at Westwood One. This is a hypothetical. <laughs> Hypothetical situation. You go mm -hmm. into a restroom at, at somebody's house at a dinner party. It's a, mm -hmm. it's a somebody who's got some power, a boss, mm -hmm. and uh, you walk in and somebody's just dropped a deuce. The room mm -hmm. stinks. It looks mm -hmm. like there's been a car chase inside the bowl. Mm -hmm. You just take a leak. Right. Wash your hands. You walk out. Now right. your boss is walking into his own bathroom. Mm -hmm. Right. Talk your way out of it. Um, I do, I think a subtle, you know, I don't think you stop and rap about it. Like you don't stop and get out a dry erase board and draw an anus in a toilet and you don't point fingers. You know what I mean? You don't go, I think you heavy set Jew over. Yeah. Cause he's been loading up on that seven layer dip and I think uh, he just deposited some of it in the commode. No, what you do is a brief heads up. Some guys just don't know party etiquette. Yeah. So you push it off onto someone else's asshole, and you give them a little heads up, and uh, you can probably indoctrinate. I'll tell you what I do is I always go shields up in a situation nice. like that. And you don't do shields on your own ass. No. Otherwise, you'd, you're, you'd be driving in your car like this. <laughs> you know, you know. So you just... I, if I saw the boss, I'd do the uh, shields up. and then Shields go, up is like a personal Dutch oven. It's basically you saying something funky this way comes, and it's not from my ass. Yeah. Because, again, I let something loose. You'll so see you've the walk. So you've taken a potentially embarrassing situation and turned it into a bonding moment. Uh-huh. Yeah. See you down at the lake. Nice Thanks work. Thanks for the raise. Adam